Alright guys, how's it going? We've got a little locking copperhead here. SW104AB Steel Warrior, which is made by Frost Cutlery. And that's the knife there. Next to the guy on the horse with the funny hat and the pointy stick. And we've got a bit of M4 here. 3.2 inches closed. Pocket knife, high quality polished 440A. Stainless steel blades, tested 56 to 58, Rockwell, nickel silver bolsters, brass pins and liners, abalone, resin coated handle. Let's take Let's get into it. Shiny. I love the copperhead design, the copperhead, this bolster here. Steel Warrior logo there. Which is frost cutlery. Right, you can see the abalone there really nicely, shiny, shiny. Nice brass pins, brass liners there. If you look through the edge of the where the abalone is, you can see that it's a resin coated abalone because you can see right through the resin there. But it is pretty, it is pretty looking. What are the info have we got here? It tells you all on this box, which is great. Nickel silver bolsters, brass pins and liners, abalone resin coated handle, 3.2 inches closed, high quality polished 440A, stainless steel blades, tested to 56 to 58 Rockwell. Well, that's tons of information there. Blade centering. Bang on. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm impressed already. This was not a very expensive knife. Listen to it lock up because it is a lock back. It is a lock knife rather. Cool. See so, yeah, a slip of the tongue there. It's not actually a lock back. There's no locking mechanism on the back here whatsoever. No gaps either, which is pretty nice to see. None that I can see anyway. And that lock up is locked up rigid. Look at that nice clip blade there. Very nice. So 440 stainless. That's good. Right, now the way you unlock this, it's not a liner lock, although it is nice and clean inside those liners. Nice brass spaces there. Pretty looking knife this, really pretty. Right, so how you unlock, took me a while to figure it out because this is the first one of these that I've had my hands on, is you press down on your pen blade and then you can unlock. What a cool mechanism. That's a great mechanism, I love that. I still don't fully understand how it works. I'll have to give it close investigation. Because the pen blade, Nice little, look at that little pen blade there. Sort of a, I don't know, Warncliffe type shape to it. Some people say these are good for whittling, and I'm sure it is. I wonder if it's short. I wonder if this paper's any good. <laughs> My paper gets damp at the minute because there's a lot of uh, warm moisture in the air right now here in Southern California. And that's cutting quite nicely. Yeah, look at that. Can't ask for more than that on a inexpensive knife. Some freaking expensive knives don't come sharp. I hate that. That's a real pet hate too. How can you be in the knife industry and not even have a sharp blade? I and mean, that's what a knife is, the definition of a knife. All right, let's check this blade. Listen to that lock up again. Cool. Is it sharp? Yep. That is sharp too. I'm impressed. Frost Cutlery's killing it. Nice pen blade there. Uh, not pen blade. Nice clip blade. Just over two and a half inches in total with a cutting edge of just under two and a quarter inches. Now, not very heavy, just remember, don't uh, 
try don't break it trying to close it that way press your pen blade and it will unlock let's see where the snap is oh yeah great snap let's see where it is on this one cool two ounces exactly which is around 39 grams 39 grams all right one last look at it Be beautiful little knife it's really nice nice little pen blade how long's the pen blade didn't do that did I all right total just hair under two inches actual cutting edge uh, just over one and a half inches blade stock on the pen blade about two and a half mil and on the main blade same two and a half mil blade stock I do like the look of that well, I figured out how the lock works if you look inside there you can see two little bumps on the back spring one there one that side so when you push down on this so when you push down on this pen blade it will lift the back spring here that's keeping your main blade locked so watch I'll push down see there you go watch pretty neat huh thanks for watching catch you guys later